morning. Welcome to day two of week six. We are really on the road. We are on the road to achieving uh, what we wake up uh, dreaming of at 10 Academy, really big time. So congratulations to you all who are um, still keeping keeping pushing yourselves and uh, succeeding on the journey. So yeah, welcome to day two of week six. Let's go through our Monday stand-up routine and get to hear how was yesterday, how did you start with the week, what were you working on, and um, what's the progress so far? Any blockers, any support you need, or is everything okay to you? Just let us know. So let's go with anyone who is ready to share right away. Yes, Mikias, go ahead. Good morning, can you hear me? Absolutely. So yesterday uh, I attended uh, the lectures. Uh, we had some good lectures on how to tackle the tasks. And there were a lot of documents that were given to us to read so that we can get the concept of uh, a LLM and drag and uh, other things. So I was reading through the cons the resources that was given. And today I plan to start writing what I understood and start implementing some code. That's uh, what I will be working on. And I have no blockers so far. But I have one question for the team uh, academy team. That is that in coming Friday and uh, Saturday uh, in Ethiopia we have a holiday, Epiphany. So the holiday is on uh, Saturday, but the Eve is a uh, uh, very important as well. So on the I mean, on the schedule, I, I didn't see any consideration for the holiday. So what are you going to do about that? That's my question. And thank you. Thanks, Mikias. Uh, regarding the holiday, we will let you know shortly during the day. Um, yeah. OK, thank you. All right. And uh, thank you for sharing as well. Anyone else who wants to go next? Let's be fast. Let's be fast. Open your mic. Yes, Birahan. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, actually, I couldn't do anything on the day, but on the night, I tried to explore some of the links. There are too much of a resource, I think. <laughs> and some of them uh, just repeat, again, what's been said um, in other blogs or links. And anyways, I felt like I, I get what RAG is and how we can use it and how it can be helpful. Basically, the the core ideas of RAG, what are its components and things like that. So it was it was actually good. So today my plan is to uh, read over the remaining links and grasp the idea of the whole project, if possible, and then the workflow and right, trying to write the, the report at the same time while reading. So that's my plan for today. If possible, try out some some um, long chain codes of RAG, if possible. That's my plan for today. Thank you. Amazing beer, amazing. Um, hey, are you? Uh, good morning, Pascaline and everyone. Uh, so yesterday, the network was giving me a hard time, so I didn't <clears throat> follow the whole conversation of Fikrta and Diabbi in the morning. Uh, so what I did was that uh, I go through the challenge document and read about uh, RAG, uh, how to fine tune the uh, LLA models, uh, and also go through some of the uh, materials that were provided in the challenge document. And if the tutors are, are around here, uh, I need more clarification on the uh, uh, the challenge. Uh, because it's it, it kind of vague for me, 
what we are going to do. Basically, I know that uh, we are going to do three things. Uh, the first one is automate prompt generation. Uh, in my understanding, it means that we are going to uh, generate prompts by writing uh, a rag. Uh, th that was my understanding. And later, uh, we need to evaluate this um, auto-generated prompts uh, using some kind of uh, evaluators. Uh, and later, we need to uh, generate test case for the prompt generation. So my question is that, uh, <clears throat> are we going to give a prompt to get another prompt, which is a better prompt than we are giving it? Or is it just explaining uh, to the, the, the um, as an input, for example, like give me an SQL query prompt and then uh, getting back uh, a prompt that will serve as uh, an SQL query prompt. So I need uh, an explanation, I mean, more clarification on that if they are around. Thank you. All right, Taya, yeah, yeah. empty nut. Uh, did you yes. catch that? Yes. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I, heard, I heard it. Uh, first, before I uh, try to attempt to clarify, uh, does any of uh, the other trainees want to maybe try clarify to Yaya? Yeah, maybe tell us what your own understanding about the, about the challenge? I mean, it would be fun to see. I mean, be good to see how people understand what they are supposed to be doing. And let's have some discussion in this uh, standout. And the volunteers. Yeah, go ahead, Aaron, if you want to take a look. Um, I, I don't know if uh, Aaron has your, is your raising hand by mistake or do you want to? to say say something Are you guys here? Uh, yes, I'm here, yes. I'm oh, here. So sorry. I was uh, trying to, yeah, I wanted to, um, 
Okay. I wanted you to, I wanted your colleagues to like uh, share what their understanding of, of the challenge, uh, just to answer your question. But, um, okay, so the challenge is about uh, this uh, rug, our retrieval augmented uh, generation, basically. And uh, so um, if you understood the, like uh, the components of this, um, of this um, process, uh, the, the, first, the first part, the retrieval, is um is uh comes from you are providing okay you have LLMs that these generative generative uh, models and they are pre-trained on like sets of data like huge sets of data of course but these are general sets of data uh to make it work for your own like for your own specific or specialized uh, goal you need to provide them with um uh, with an extra extra data maybe it's like uh, in, if you have a business you want to work i mean i already did some kind of that before that in in uh, um in, in the challenge of week three week three or week four is there is that um you have to provide some extra context basically or extra data for 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 your for your model this is a retrieval part is the is the part that where you provide the the, the data and then sorry and um i have to see um sorry uh um so the trivial part is uh, is uh, you provide uh, providing the data in in a form that is usable by by the model so it can be retrieved and um so this is this is the first the first component of this. Then um, uh, I mean, uh, then uh, you also did part of this of uh, of uh, like you can customize the prompts. Uh, I mean, um, you are you're you're inputting prompts to to your generative model. But you, you, I mean, you already did this before. You can, you can customize that. Um, how to say? Uh, uh, like you, you have users that are going to to be, um, will be using whatever you're, you're like you're producing, and then um, uh, you can make it so that like the prompt uh, you design it in such a way that like the question of the user is comes in a particular way and then of extra um i mean i mean you did this before so you don't know what i'm talking about so this this part i don't know if you are following at all what i'm saying um i understand those yeah yes yeah. So, yes. Okay. My, so, what what part what part you don't get uh, exactly? So. so, the input from the user, we take it yeah. uh, as as um, a context for the prompt, right? And yeah, the, have, yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah. The the challenge is to generate uh, a prompt, right? We are not. Yeah going to do uh, like image generation or uh, something else we just want the 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 rug to give us uh, a prompt for uh, for example it might be a storyteller right so when the user writes give me a storyteller prompt uh, then it will give us uh, a prompt for storytelling right so my mm -hmm. question is that it, it's it's general, right? For example, yeah. if it's a, if it's a, a SQL generator prompt, uh, I I should have specified like we will have such kind of tables, this kind of schema, and etc. So, uh, giving that it will it will give me um, uh, the the uh, the query that I will ask, 
so the, the objective yeah. is to generate this um, this prompt, right? So if that mm -hmm. is the case, it, it's so general that we can't grasp all the, the, the prompts at once. Maybe, uh, I, I don't know how we are going to accomplish that. That's what that's what where I'm confused at. Oh, okay. Anyway, maybe um, uh, later. Some... I think I think I yeah I understood your question. Yes. Um. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the automatic generation of the prompts. Uh. Yes. So if you are going to make it because you are, you we are automating yes you are automating the. Uh, the rag itself so you want to have we want to have like we could have like um infinite uh, amount of uh, um, possible kinds of prompts that we want how can we generate exactly. all of that um we okay, can generate so um maybe you think like there are infinite amount of of, of um do you hear me sorry do you hear me yeah yeah Hello? Empty <laughs> you now you you are muted. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Pascaline, maybe let the stand up uh, continue, and I will I will ask them later. Yeah, absolutely. Them. Uh, uh, we are yes. Much. <laughs> Thanks for the conversation as well. <clears throat> I think I'm tonight is having some network problem, but yeah. So uh, before we go to Ekram, I want to tell people who are sharing in the chat box. There is really no reason just to excuse yourself. Please go ahead and uh, drop your updates. It's all right. It's all right. Don't say sorry or anything else. Just type uh, by the update. We will be reading out loud. Um, we'll be reading them out loud. Yeah, let's go to Ekram. OK, I hope you can hear me. So like, hello, everyone. Yesterday, I was able to go over the, over task one and check the given resources. Currently, I think I have got the understanding of RAG, components of RAG and evaluation, RAG evaluation. So like my today's plan is to continue to work on task two. And like one question, uh, uh, like what are we expected to use as a data source? Like I'm confused a bit regarding the data source. It would be a pleasure if, if someone can clarify things related to data source thank you okay Ekram, thanks for sharing that was clear uh let's go to the next if you're ready raise your hand yes rodolf My good name is Pascal and good morning everyone. Hope you guys are well. Um, yesterday I read about the, uh, the key component of the RAG and understand the need for the advanced prompt engineering. Uh, and I read also about the metric uh, of a ranking, especially in Monte Carlo and uh, ELO. Uh, I try to summarize the, uh, what I read. Uh, as you, you know, you have a lot of documentation. I didn't read uh, all of them. So today, I plan to continue my reading to get more, uh, to get understanding of the need for evaluating that component and understand the tools and technique to automatically generate RAG uh, evaluation data. And also learn the key package to to planning and building, testing, monitoring, and uh, deploying in Japan, great RAG system. And uh, just after that, then I can start the task two. So that's it. Thank you, and have a productive day. 
Thank you, Rodolf. Um, yeah, that was detailed. Any blockers, any support? Uh, not yet, because uh, uh, as Yabiba said yesterday, uh, the documentation, we need to focus uh, really on that documentation and give us some um, uh, overview and deep understanding. So I will continue that when I will finish. If there is a, a there is a blocker, then I will raise it. Absolutely. Okay. Um, who wants to go next? Yes, Radio. Hello, everyone. Um, so uh, yesterday, I was trying to. I, I was not part of most of the training, so I was trying to cope up with you, uh, with by reading and. Uh, from I think I understand the task, and from what I understand, uh, as Ikram said before, th that was also my question. Uh, we're supposed to have a data because it says that we're going to retrieve a context depending on a content, right? So in some cases, it's not only one content. We c we might have two or three contents or more than that. So in in minimum case, I think what I understand from Rag is we're supposed to have at least one content so that we can focus on one topic and we can make the LLM generate a good answer or a good uh, uh insight from the from that specific task so and if i'm not wrong i also heard i think i also heard mr ababa say there's no data provided so i was thinking how are we going to make this uh work if we're not going to have some contents so uh, that if Rams had said this question before it is just to elaborate it a little bit thank you All right, thank you. Uh, Aya, you have something to say about it? Uh, yes. Um, actually, there are a lot of uh, prompt generation data. Uh, I just dropped one on the message. Uh, the, the, as Reddit said, it's so general. We can't uh, get a, a, a powerful prompt for uh, everything because uh, I think if it was like, Two or three, we can we can give it uh, some additional context, some uh, extra information, and then we can get uh, a good prompt. Uh, so what I don't understand is that uh, if we are going to generate uh, prompts for uh, I don't know for anything, it, it would be so general, and we cannot do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might be. I mean, there might be a way. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure. So, uh, regarding the data, you can check the <clears throat> uh, Hugo Office data. You can find all the data there, uh, specifically the one by FKA, uh, the awesome chat GTP prompts. There is a lot of data there. Thank you. Um, all right. So, I'm sorry. Sorry, Pastor mm -hmm. I, I dropped it earlier when I was um, when I was talking. Uh, I, mean, I apologize. And um, just to finish what I'm saying, and just to like comment on this last uh, question about data. Uh, the point here, what you are trying to do is trying to automate creating the rug. So uh, you don't have data because your so your customers here are businesses basically. So businesses that want to use, um, uh, uh, they want to utilize the rug, but they don't want to, like you, you're going to automate it for them. So they don't need to do all of the, this coding. Uh, so the point is the data comes from these businesses. Um, what's again? um so the data comes from them and the, like the kind of prompts they want also come from them so if you see like uh to read the, the, the document the challenge document that in the tasks um you can see for example that task two is design and develop prompt generating system and then you see like the user can input a description for the objective or the task task and specify a few scenarios along with the expected outputs so you can see that the point is um, um, the point is that uh, uh, the specification of the prompts. Uh, the point is that you have to design some system that will, uh, with some a few 
scenarios from the users and uh, like there's some few specifications they can create and like also ways to test it you can create a, a prompt they need they have to like the data you have to get from them so you have to design your system so that you can accept, accept like several kinds of data uh, kinds i i hope that uh, what 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 i said like um, maybe clarify something or does it or like um does it make sense? Any kind of reaction would be a um, question. Yeah, so let me see, like, um, people asking questions. One second. So, Abraham, go ahead. Actually, it's not a question. I was just going uh, to share my updates. But if anyone has a question, let, let, just let me give the chance to the, the, the other one. Um, okay, Fanuel, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, hi, everyone. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear it. So when you say the user has certain objectives and you know the industry that we partake in, so are we supposed to put ourselves in that, in that position and you know create a scenario for ourselves so that we can customize our right that way and so that we can fine tune it? Is that what you're saying? Um, not exactly it's uh, the point is that we have to like we don't we don't put ourselves in a, just the shoes of uh, one customer like we have to like consider that uh, we will have many customers and uh, but i mean to see how it works maybe you can work one example yes um but then you have to automate the thing for for general cases I mean, uh, maybe my, my explanation is not very clear. It's going to be clearer with the upcoming tutorial. Um, I think it will, it, it will be in like uh, half an hour. Um, um, yeah, so I don't know. Does this answer your question in, in, in any way? Panel? Sort of, but I thought of it as. Uh... So the rag or the data we inputted, like we can represent any business, but for one scenario, like we can give it certain data set and we can, you know, test it out that way. But if we can add another business, like we can give it more data test data set so that you know we can recognize the data from input and give us more customized prompts. That that's what I understood from it. Maybe yeah, if I'm exactly. wrong, then as you said from the tutorials, yes. maybe That's, we can get more ideas. Yeah, you're right. That's what I what exactly what I meant. Yes. Um someone else want to say something or want to share or have a question, Carol? Um, um yeah. yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to add on what you did. So I, I don't think we are supposed to uh, design the right for a specific do document. I think we need to, you know, like uh, set up a pipeline, uh, uh, the anti pipeline that's going to take the documents as any document given by the customer and process that document and uh, take, take it as input and produce uh, the rights. So I don't think we need uh, a data for that, but we can try uh, for our sake, we, we can try it on, on specific documents. Yeah, so that's what we want the kids from reading. Yes, yes, you are you are absolutely correct. Yes. Um so uh good, I think. Uh yeah. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I, I think now I understand the problem. <laughs> uh so the, the user inputs the the description in the the expected output. Uh, outputs right yeah but then from no, that no, we can, no, no. yeah yeah how if that's the case i'm we sorry can do i'm sorry yeah, yeah but uh, how do you how does the user uh, give the output 
in a context, not in the, the I mean, structuring the, the the output. Rather, it will it will uh, describe what he wants and what the uh, output will look like. Not a structure of uh, uh, or a structured context, right? So the the, the user will say, for example, uh, I have this this table for example uh, for SQL query right so uh, I want the output to be such a such, such kind right so from that we can extract those uh, elements and put it to the the, the, the prompt I, I think now I understand the problem yeah thank you okay great uh, so no I'm confused yeah yeah, uh, I'm confused too now. Yeah, I'm confused now. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I didn't understand right like that. You know, like I understood right. Like we give it the document and it gives us it gives us the right kind of prompt, right? Like it's like a prompt yeah. generation. Like it gives us mm -hmm. it helps us to ask the right questions, right? Based on the document. Right. Yeah. Right, so, right. So, I mean, uh, is, I think uh, what confused you is a part of the expected output. Is that what the point that was uh, confusing a little bit? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of, yeah. So, because I thought right is supposed to give us a uh, prompt, right? The structure prompt, the right kind of yeah. question that gives us a maximum yeah. output, uh, output. Okay, so let's let's go back to what your your understanding before Carol and Panuel. You had it correctly. I think uh, what uh, Yaya was saying is like um, there are extra details there there in about what you're going to do. There are testing, um, the test cases, and stuff like that. So there are extra details that you have to consider that maybe you don't get right now and maybe maybe like I I don't even know all the details that we were of what we what you're going to have to do and i'm kind of learning also alongside you this <laughs> this week but um yeah so what you had what your understanding before was correct what the other said was also correct but like if it confuses you just discard it for now and later during the tutorials it will be clear clearer okay, sorry <laughs> to be more more obvious to you what you're supposed to be doing sorry i tripped on this word for a second um um uh red ready it um go ahead yeah it is just i want to add something on this as carol and Fanel had said i also understood the question that way like rag is supposed to generate a good question in order for our llm to understand the query more better yeah. or in some cases i think the rug can also generate an answer but of course it will go through the daily and carol had said we're supposed to give it a document right it will going to refer from the document and also mr abel had said we're going to have a cosine or similarity we're going to check the similarities of the queries with the content which is the document on this case and what i still don't understand is that where is the document? And I think the user is not, cannot, you know, cannot input the document because the user is going to put all only the queries and uh, it, uh, the document is kind of to be on the back end. I don't know, but uh, how is the user going to enter the document? Yes, as well. So, I didn't understand. Yeah. Okay. So you have to clarify which user are you talking about. So there is a, for you there is a user who is a business. Uh, on the client, let's say, let's call him the client, call, call them the client. The client is a, is a business that have data and they want us to help them with, to, with the rug. So they want to help them to create effective prompts uh, so that they will use, um, uh, maybe they, will, they want to, to create a chatbot or something from the, for their business that users users there they will enter the, the query so there is a client the business that has data and they're going to they're going to be to enter like this their specification what they want the, their prompt to to look like and what they want uh, the output of from the llm to be like um so this output is confusing to you but like 
yeah, they, they also like we will have test cases. So like we will see the output from the LLM that is generated by the prompt. How would, would it look like? But it's only going to be specific to a particular client that have a particular uh, data, okay? Um, and then there are the users, the ones that are going to use the final product and going to enter queries. Do, do you, does, that, this, um, does this clarify to you what we're, kind of user we're talking about? Okay, so I think you're, you, what you're saying is we have two users and the first one is who, who input the query and the other one is the business owners. So like, and yeah. uh, what I understand now is like the business owners, they, we're going to prepare it, uh, a chatbot that the business owners can input every document, whatever document they want on whatever. Yeah. We're not supposed to use a specific document. Yes, they're not supposed to be using specific documents yet. So in that case, it's how are we going to compare our, how is that going to work? I mean, if there is no content that we're going to input, then there is no, there is no such thing that uh, called comparing the queries with the content or some things like that. If And so the output is going to be the same as the output of daily. Like, since we're not comparing the questions with any uh, content and we're not retrieving a relevant, a relevant passage from it, how are we going to compare? Or how, how is that going to work if we're not go going to compare it with any document? Uh, so the, the point is to to automate the pipeline that will going to take this, yes, uh, from the from the client, the business client, going to take the documents and generate for us this is like a, a effective prompt. But um, uh, the point is that we can use, you can, I think you can use um, sample data for, for your, like, um, for your system to check how things, if things are working or not. Uh, but the thing is that it has to be automatic. I mean, the point is not that you're going to, to create a particular chatbot or a particular product in the end. It's, it's um, uh, you're automating um, the whole process. Um, I mean, does it make sense to you at all? Or does this answer your question? Um, okay, maybe so we're going to be provided with a little bit sample data. Maybe that, that makes sense somehow. I, this is this is like my own understanding, but let's see um, like the next tutorial, how, how uh, Rahmat is going to, um, to explain this. Um, the, the whole process because yes I'm just being completely honest here uh, I, I haven't done this before so I'm kind of also learning alongside with you um, yeah it's, it's not a, it's not a good thing to admit but yeah I'm admitting it <laughs> okay um, okay uh, um, so another question uh, someone once. There was, okay. uh, it's not uh, about the question, but like uh, when, uh, if we want to generate a good prompt, we have to have uh, a data set like everyone said. Marathon. So uh, I think, can we use our uh, sample data set or you gonna give us um, maybe this one will clarify maybe there will be a recommendation for something to use but um in the end the thing is that there are there are specific ways to i mean there are techniques and algorithms to test um like the quality uh of your prompts so um this is not going to be um you just will have to implement have to use this in 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 your pipeline basically um it's not going you're not going to have to do this manually to say like ah, this prompt is going to give me good results and this prompt is not um you have to automate it in a way that like yes i have this algorithm is going to measure if this prompt is what i want if, is what is producing what i need um so it's not it's not something that you need to do manually is the, the point the, or the, the goal is not to to do this manually you need to like automate it in a way so you have your code your code your algorithm ready to do this once uh, um a data is entered and specifications are are um are entered into um 
in your in the system. Um, okay, is is like does it does it make sense to you, or does does it um, clarify a little bit? No reaction. Robotic, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, <laughs> so you're so confused. Uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Just what uh, you have said is about how we test our prompt. Like it is after yeah. we generating the prompt, but before we generate the prompt, we have to have our data set because the LLMs will uh, fail to tell about our our data set, not about the general one. So when it comes to uh, prompt generation, we have to have uh, our own data. That is what we are okay, asking. So suppose, suppose I tell you, like, I will give you data. And you can do this for this particular data. But then I tell you, yeah, I, you have to make it such that if I tell you that I'm replacing the data, it will work without you changing anything. Like, just change the data from this, uh, like, wherever you're entering the data to your system, to your pipeline, the things work just like when I replace the set of data you have. Okay, that's what you are supposed to, to create. Does this uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. make sense. sense? Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, uh, at this point, I think uh, it should be uh, enough that you understand the general idea. It should be, it should be clarified uh, more um, with uh, with the tutorials, and um, you will understand. Like if you go through like the tasks, um, um, it should be. I mean, it should be clearer. Like how how the details should work. As, as I think, uh, sometimes we mistaken the first task. It's just like you have to summarize, as to review and summarize. Like um, what is rag exactly? What are the components and um, even the I think the, uh, the, I mean, the submission is partly um, this review re report, right? So I'm just saying, <laughs> I think you are in a good, um, um, in, a, in a good place, just understand. I mean, you, I, I feel like everyone feels confused about this. Uh, it should be clarified um, in the next, um, in the next tutorials. Um, so anyone wants to share or want to have another question? Because like we're, I think, um, uh, have only, and I'm not sure, Pascaline, how, how many, how much time we have? Um, sorry, let's check. Um, You maybe um, all right. So uh, let's aim to have to end this in a, in five minutes. Um, someone else want to share or have a question? Let's take like a, a couple of uh, um, of people. If anyone wants to. Otherwise, we can end this stand up and like uh, meet in, in the next tutorial. In 10 minutes, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, sorry, can I share you something and then maybe that will guide us? Uh, because we can generate the, the, the prompts for anything, but they couldn't be so specific. Uh, that's why uh, the, the, they are asking about the data. Uh, so if the user precisely describes the, the input, uh that that might be doable uh, let me just show the i think yeah, that sorry. i have yeah uh, can you see my screen yes uh, right 
this is a, a, a general prompt generator. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it not opening? Okay, here it goes. Uh, so <clears throat> this is, for example, for an SQL generator, I could give us an input and it give me a general prompt, not a specific one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so what I was thinking is that um, it will gen generate the, the, the baseline. Uh, so for the SQL generator, it says, I want you to act as a SQL generator. I will give you a table name and columns, and you will give a general, uh, no, you will generate an SQL command to create the table. Uh, I want you to, only reply with a SQL command inside blah, 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 blah. So using this prompt, right, uh, we're gonna give it a table a name or the, the, the query that we want for the next, um, what, what, what do we call it? For as, as, as a next input for the mm -hmm. LLA. So instead of, saying uh, a SQL generator, if we can specify or describe the the thing that we want to do is some inputs, we can somehow process this input and uh, put it into the the, 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 the the prompt. So if that if that's the case, it can be uh, doable, right? Th this can work for any uh, prompt generation, but it's not precise uh, or what you call it. It's not precise. You have to give it more. Uh, if yeah, OK. So what you're saying is, is missing in this. Like, what, what will make this precise? The missing element is that uh, we need to be precise what we want to do, right? So this has mm -hmm. to be. Uh, this this prompt has to include more context to it. That that that's what I'm saying. So we we can get that context maybe from the the input. If the the user uh, is able to describe what he wants and what uh, kind of outputs uh, he wants, then we can process this input and put it to the um, put it to the. Um, I mean, put it the, the uh, prompt yes. generator. Exactly, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, uh, so that's, that's the, the, I mean, this is a job of, like, yeah, this is what you're going to get from, from your client, right? Uh, so yeah. what what is the point? Where is the data? What to say, like, we need data. Where do you need the data exactly here? So my, my understanding yes. is that the, the data is not for generating the, the, the prompts. Instead, mm -hmm. it's for evaluation. Uh, the, the, the data set that I dropped on the chat uh, yeah. can be used to evaluate this rag for generating the prompts. That, that was what my understanding, okay. but I might be wrong. <laughs> yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, all right. So um, uh, I'm I'm not sure about this. So the, uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, several kinds of data. Yeah. Um, for example, when you're talking about this SQL, some generator. Yes. Yeah, so you have like uh, tables and columns, and uh, in principle, this would be in, uh, I mean added um, uh, by the client basically, uh, can mm -hmm. documents or whatever. Yes. But you're talking about how to to um, uh, uh, evaluate the prompt, and you're saying that you, we need data to do to do that. Um, the data you were you were, you were talking about. So you were talking about two, two different sets of data. Uh, okay, um, I don't know. Uh, all right, I don't know um, about. I, I I don't know the answer to this. I'm just clarifying that we are talking about the two two different uh, kinds of data. I'm not sure if like even what I'm saying is clear. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Can I say something? Yes. Sure. 
Uh, so what I was thinking is that for any uh, machine learning algorithm, uh, we have a data, right? And then we mm -hmm. split that into train test data. Uh, mm -hmm. We train it with um, as, uh, some amount and then we test it with some amount and get the, the accuracy. Right. But in, in this case, uh, our LLM is trained with so many data, right? So yeah. when, what, what we need to do is we need to train it with a specific data to make mm -hmm. it more uh, to, the, to the target or to the, the point where we want to uh, get the prompt. So right. they, they are, there are data for prompt generation, right? And mm -hmm. what, we, what we will do is we will uh, train it with those data by splitting it into uh, train and test. Well, it's not exactly is going to be um, 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 not specifically like that. So there is a data that is that just providing the context, basically, to your LLM. So you're saying like, look into these documents, get me like uh, the information from this, um, uh from this from this context i'm providing or like this data set i have uh just look into that so this is a uh, data you're providing to your llm basically so this is like a, a, what i this is the r part this is a, the retrieval part um uh of of this of the rag um i mean how to uh but what you're talking about is, is evaluating the system, or the system you have, or the prompts you're creating after this. And um, how how does the evaluation work? Are you do you need to provide data, maybe like uh, a few scenarios or a few prompts with the uh, required output, and then um, um, like measure the performance of the of of your LLM, if it's a pro pro providing you the what you need, um, so at this point exactly, I am not quite sure of of exactly how it works completely. So I'm not going to to venture into this more. So I apologize. Um, I I mean, I promise it's going to be clear uh, in the next tutorials but you can also ask in the next tutorial in two minutes so we have to end it uh, i apologize also again uh that we have to like we didn't get to like answer all the questions uh for time and also because of like um, my own lack of um, expensive knowledge on the on the subject so um Unless, yeah, so we'll see you in a, in a couple of minutes in the next tutorial. Um, uh, thank you for being here. <laughs> Bye.